Hello everybody, my name is 7-Eleven, and welcome to the 7th and final week of the regular season of the Irish Emerald Discord League Season 3. This is the last of the regular season battles for this Tier 3 and below league, and so this is the time where we decide if we make playoffs or not. This week we are battling Teal. Teal has an interesting team. He has a very scary team. He didn't bring all of his threats. He did not bring the uh, Zygarde dog, the Z Zygarde 10%. And I brought a scarfed, um, a scarfed Miss Magius, I'm sorry, Miss Mistrevis, Mistrevis, in order to counter that with Hen Power Ice. But it did not come. Oh well. Um, we got some pretty tough looking Pokemon. We got Ursa Ring, and actually Roserade is a big threat to my team, honestly. And so let's see how this battle goes. So let's start this battle. So I do lead with Charmed, as he does lead with Spin Me. I decide this is a free Calm Mind for me. Uh, Charmed is Calm Mind plus three attacks. So I think I was Psy Shock, Energy Ball, and I was Water Pulse for the Houndoom with, I think, the Culberberry. So I go for another Energy Ball there, get a Special Defense drop, ends up not mattering. Brainiac goes for the Trick Room, and then U turns to set up for Ursa Ring. I decide to go for the Water Pulse just as a middle ground play type of thing. I wasn't sure what was going to come in. So in comes Grace now because Grace is physically offensive and I decide to go with my, I'm sorry, not physically offensive, my physically defensive, physically defensive Shaman because that was my prep for the Zygarde, which did not come, as well as the Mischievous. So, Grace is now being used against uh, my, you know, this physical Pokemon here. And I go for Dazzling Gleam, does some damage, which is fine. And then it, there's a play rough. And so, down goes Grace. I, that, me, that makes Seismitoad a little bit scarier, but not really because I have grass coverage on Mesprit still. So here is the Swamp, and I go straight for the Close Combat here, and that pops the the uh, White Herb. So now Bruce Lee is very, 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 very fast. And so here's a 50-50 here. What do I do? I could go for Close Combat, and that would knock, it would not kill out, it would not kill Swamp. So I decided to go for Knock Off, just in case he switched because Hitmontop is still a threat, and Roserade is still a threat, I said go for the knockoff. And I didn't want Bruce Lee to be taking those defense drops to close combat, so that's why I went for knockoff. And he goes for Scald, and he does get the burn. So Bruce Lee is not that threatening anymore. So I do go for Rapid Spin here. Very important as there's a Drain Punch, get some health back, and I decide now to go for the Close Combat to take out, to attempt to take out the Swamp. Not quite. Oh well. And a Drain Punch does take out Bruce Lee. So, uh, at this point in the game, his walls are weakened, and, except for Hit One Top. Hit One Top is still full strength, but the Swamp is low, and Uxie is low, and Ursaring is low. So now here is Winona, and it's time for Boom Bursts. So Boom Burst. Down goes a Pokemon. In comes Brainiac. That does 56% minimum, so another Boom Burst. Down goes Brainiac. I guess it's time for Houndoom now. I go for Boom Burst again. And that one shots. Down goes Devil Dog, the Houndoom. Now in comes Hitmontop, and he figures that that's going to one-shot him as well. So he goes for Mach Punch. Turns out that Hitmontop is actually fairly defensive, and especially defensive. So it actually takes two Boom Bursts to take out Hitmontop. 
So there's a second boom burst onto that. So, you know, five boom bursts knocks out four Pokemon. Six boom bursts knock out five Pokemon. And it is down to Roserade left. And uh, I wasn't really thinking about Differential at this point. Otherwise, I probably would have gone into Mischievous with the Hidden Power Ice and such. I was not thinking about that. Um, oh well. But I decided to go for Boom Burst here. And that almost knocks out the Rose Raid. Sludge Bomb does knock out Winona. And down goes Robin to the Life Orb Recoil. So, Swellow knocks out five Pokemon in six Boom Bursts. I did not get to use my Mesprit. I did not get to use Dusk Like and Rock. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty straightforward battle. Uh, Teal did not bring a whole lot for uh, Specs Boom Burst Winona. And unfortunately, you know, Shaman didn't get to shine a lot. And Hitmonlee didn't get to shine a lot. But um, they did stall out the Trick Room. And they did weaken uh, two of Teal's walls, being Uxi and Seismitoad. And that just left the door open for Winona to clean up at the end. So that was a great game, Teal. That puts us at a record of 4 and 3 with a plus 1 differential. And so we actually do not know at this point if I make playoffs. And so we are waiting on one last battle. So I'm going to show it to you. So this is Blazes against Soap. Blazes in the hind, you know, the hind ground and the foreground is Soap. So if all that needs to happen is Soap needs to win 2-0 or lose. 2-0, nothing, 1-0 nothing, or lose. So let's hit play. Let's see what happens here. So we got Guzzlord and there's a heat wave. The fate, my fate rests in this battle. Do I make playoffs? So in comes Swampert. Volt Switch is not going to do anything. And the sw Swampert, yes, Swampert does knock out Dwayne. So here is Pinpoint. There's a U-turn that is probably scarf, uh, Scarfed or Banded, or Adam and Scarf, or Jolly Band. We see a Toxic as Sapphire goes down to the Earthquake. Okay. Uh, that's a fair play. We see Crowback come in again, and Brave Bird knocks out Swampert clean. That's pretty powerful. Next, we see Cofagrigus come in, and we see Brave Bird does solid damage, and it loses Inf Infiltrator to Mummy. And there's a will o -Wisp miss, so that was pretty unfortunate, for sure, because now Brave Bird does knock out Cofagrigus. Medicham comes in now, and just simply fakes out. Crobat, um, Crobat can't come in because it only had 12% health and it would die to Stealth Rock. So Medicham knocks that out but picks up Mummy. So I go, and so, I'm sorry, not me. Blaze goes for the Volt Switch here as Tangla comes in. And here's Chuck Norris, Flamethrower. That has to be the Zoroark. Well, that was quite a knockout there. There's a Sludge Bomb that does some damage. Dark Pulse is resisted. Okay. And there's another Sludge Bomb. I guess Heat Wave would have done more, honestly. And down goes the Zoroark. There's a Special Attack Boost. And let's look at Bolt. Can Bolt knock out Guzzlord with a Thunderbolt? No, it cannot. Guzzlord is going to died to the poison, but that is a very powerful Dark Pulse. And all that's left is the um, Medicham versus Chuck Norris. There's a Fake Out. We see Life Orb damage. And there's a Zen Headbutt to wrap up the game. So, what happened? So, Soap wins 2-0. That means that Soap is 4 and 3 with a plus 1 differential. I am, a, I am 4 and 3 with a plus 1 differential. I beat Soap in the regular season. And so that means that I win the head-to-head -head matchup. And I am going to the playoffs. 
Blaze is already in playoffs, so, you know, this battle didn't really matter to him all that much. Of course, he was trying to win, but whether or not he wins, he would still make playoffs. And so I make playoffs because of this uh, low differential battle, and so we win. We make playoffs, and it's going to be a great time in the playoffs. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then like this video, comment on this video, share with your friends, and click subscribe if you haven't already. And on that note, guys, I will see you all later. Peace.